and welcome to ST Web Designer. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own local server. We are firstly going to be installing Xamp onto our PC as this will set up most of our local server. We will then install PHP My Admin later on. So to install it we first need to download it by just going to the exam website which is this one here and exam can be installed on Windows, Linux and OS. Now I'm on a Windows machine so I'm going to go for the Windows download. Now I already have it downloaded because it took quite a while so I'm just going to click open. If you haven't downloaded it, just place, press pause and come back once you have. So once you press open, we'll get a um, window and obviously we want to continue the installation when this comes up. Basically it's just saying that you've got antivirus running which may interfere with it, but that's not really a problem. and we can now get the setup window open and we can start installing Examp. So when we get the setup box up we're just going to press next and we can now select the components. I'm just going to keep them all checked for just in case we need them. You can untick any that you want but for this install I'm just going to keep them all ticked and press next. Now this is where you can choose where you want to install Examp. I'm just going to leave it on the C drive. You can choose whichever folder you want. And this is just basically telling you what you can use Examp for. I'm going to untick that because I don't want to learn more about it. And now our install is ready. So we just need to wait for this to install. A few moments later. Okay, so the installation is now complete and we can now open the control panel. So if you keep this checked, it will open it up as soon as you press finish, which is what we're going to do. And we now have our control panel. Okay so here we have all the modules that we installed earlier and we're going to start the Apache module by pressing start. And we can see the Apache module is running and that means that our local host can now work. I just move that up here, go over to our browser and to get the local host displayed on a browser you simply write local host forward slash and that should work. So here we have the exam splash page as you can see defined here and we're going to select the language. I'm English, so I'm going to click English. And we now have Examp on our computer. And so when you want to actually put one of your own projects onto the local host, all we do is we go over to our C drive, we go to Examp. and htdocs. But at the minute we've got all this stuff here which we don't really need but for now we'll just keep them there and we're going to create we're going to create a new folder I'm just going to call it test for now and I'm going to put 
a HTML document in there. So I'm just going to put a H1 tag in here. I'm just going to call it hello. Put a hello in there. And I'm going to save this in that test folder that we just created. I'm going to go to C drive, exam, HT docs, test. I'm going to call it index dot html and I'm going to go back over to our browser and I'm just going to type in local host forward slash test because that's the name of our folder that we created and this now shows up what we put in our html document so as I mentioned earlier, we have all these files outside of these folders. These can actually be deleted. Just don't delete this exam folder. But all of these can be deleted. So keep you've got to keep this exam folder here. If you don't want your projects being installed on the C drive, you can actually configure the settings to change the folder that displays on the local host. So if we go to, say we want the project to be in my documents folder, I'm going to go to documents, I'm going to just set up a folder, I'm, I am going to call it htdocs but this folder can be anything because we're actually going to put the path in there, so I'm just going to call it htdocs, it can be called anything. And I'm just going to leave that empty, I'm going to go inside it and I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to go over, I'm going to go back over to our control panel and on the Apache module I'm going to go to config and httpd.conf is the one that we want and we're going to get this notepad file. And we just need to scroll down until we get to this bit here because this bit at the minute is where the local host is going to to find our projects so all we need to do is put that in and control save close that and we can put in a folder and I'll call it another name and I'll just go back over go back over to our local disk and grab our index I'm just going to put testing in this one so we can see the difference. So when we go back over here, type in localhost forward slash test1 and that did not work. So let's have a look. Let's go back here, let's see if it's saved. Just stop it and start it again, see if that makes a difference. And there we go. So when you configure your um, server, your local server, you need to stop it and start it again for it to change the directory. So now all the projects can be stored on our in our folder that we created in the documents area rather than our local disk. We are now going to complete the final step of setting up our local server, which is setting up PHP MyAdmin. 
Now if you are never going to set up or test a database locally, you do not need to follow these steps. So the first thing we need to do is put our local host directory back to the C drive because we need to go back to the exam page. So you could move the exam folder to your new htdocs, but I'm just going to put it back to the local disk. So I'm just going to copy that and config and go down to where the, where the directory was, which is here. I'm going to save that. I'm going to stop and start that again. And we also need to start the MySQL module for this. So they're both now running and we now need to go back to our local host. So local host forward slash and go to exam and we come to the first page that we saw when we set up exam. And so we're just going to go down here to PHP my admin. And here we can set up our databases. And it can see that we're on the local host here. So to set one up, I'm just going to go to database and we're going to give it a name and I'm just going to call it D under dash test and I'm going to create. And we now have a database on our local server. So this PHP my admin can be used for when you're testing content management systems such as WordPress and Drupal and if you're creating your own as well. So you should now have a local server set up and ready to use where you can develop and test your projects. If you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.